Hi Leo, welcome to your tarot forecast for the week of, actually for the month of November. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal reading information, ways to donate, uh, social media, um, decks I'm using, tons of stuff down there, so please do go check that out. Um, thank you for all your support. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, those who have donated. Thank you so much for that blessing and helping the channel's growth. Um, those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you, thank you. Uh, really means a lot to me. I'm able to do this for you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for the support and helping in the channel's growth and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. Okay, Leo, this is your tarot forecast for November. Now we'll just see what comes out here. Uh, we, it could be about love. It just could be about anything. So keep that in mind. Um, only take what resonates. Throw away what doesn't. It could be about you. It could be about somebody around you uh, that's affecting you. It could be anything. All right, Leo, November tarot forecast. This is just a general reading. But like I said, it, love could come out. Anything could come out. So... We'll see what we get here. All right, for Leo, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So I hope everybody's doing well. I just wanna say that, happy November and happy fall. All right, so let's see what we have for Leo for November. Now we could get a sign, element, planet, and if it doesn't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. So let's see what may be affecting some Leos. For the month of November, I just want one spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, that's like three. I just want one. I'll take that one. Taurus. So some people could have a Taurus around them in some way. It could be a significant other. It could be a, a friend. It could be a co-worker, a family member. Or maybe you have Taurus in your chart or somebody has Taurus heavily in their chart. So we do have the sign of Taurus, so however that resonates for you. If it does, if not, totally fine. All right, so let's see. Let's get a main energy for you for the month of November. What is your energy, main energy like for the month of November? What's going on? What's the main message here, the main energy for Leah? That's kind of funky how that happened. <laughs> For November. One card for Leo. One card for Leo for November. What's the main thing? Okay, I'll take that. We have share the message of love. Daffodil, rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. So I think this is telling you to be in a more loving, uh, na compassionate nature for the month of November for um, just, you know, around the people you love, friends, family, co-workers, your significant other if you have one, um, just being in that very loving, compassionate sort of giving energy. And you see the yellow there uh, is all about the solar plexus. And that's all about yellow. It's all happiness, joy. It's the color of the sun. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And we have more yellow here. Uplift your thoughts, orange lily. Focus your attention on the many blessings that surround you. By doing so, you'll let go of depression, poor self-esteem, and excess weight. So some of you need to get in a more positive mindset and just focus on the good things in your life, the blessings in your life. Um, and it may help you let go of negative thoughts, depression, uh, a low self-esteem. It may help you get on the right path if you're trying to lose weight or just be healthier or just be uh, in a more positive energy overall. And then we have another message here of open your heart. Your, po your potential for, great, for greater love rests in opening your heart. Blockages and wounds from your past will be healed and you'll be met with the true passion you seek. So a lot here about being in that loving, compassionate energy, but also opening your heart to that energy and letting yourself receive that 
also. And I think that energy, if you get in that energy of giving and receiving, that loving sort of energy, um, it will really change your energy, change your space, your, your uh, train of thought, um, you know, how you're feeling overall. And I think it'll just make your life home just that much better. All right, so let's see what's going on with the tarot. Let's see what's going on with the tarot. Clarify this energy. So some may be in a negative space right now, or maybe you just come out of something negative and you're trying to heal from that. Um, trying just to get into a better space and a mindset and a more positive um, attitude and energy. All right, so what's going on? What is going in Taurus in the um, tarot? It, the major arcana for Taurus is the Hierophant, which can speak of marriage. So that may be significant for some people. This has to do something with the marriage. Maybe something that needs to be healed um, in a marriage or just coming out of a marriage if you're not dealing with a Taurus. So what's going on for Leo? What is your main energy like for the month of November? So the Six of Cups energy here. So this is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. doesn't have to be. But this talks of memories, nostalgia, thinking back on the past, your childhood, even past life energy can speak of and it also could speak of soulmate energy so this definitely could have something to do with a soulmate or something like that or it could be someone you've been with for a very long time or you could be just thinking back of you know when you were a child your uh, childhood your you know friends family classmates that sort of energy from the past so let's see Let's get a couple more around the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here for Leo? We have the Queen of Wands. Well, there you are showing up as the Queen of Wands. It's your energy. We have one more for Leo. One more for Leo. And the Three of Pentacles. So it's your energy, Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, standing, being in your power, you know, passionate go-getter, you know, ambitious, creative, going after what you want, let her drive an ambition, being very passionate energy. And then you have the three of pentacles. So this is teamwork, collaboration, working together. This could be, you know, about work, working together at work, um, working together with friends, family, or even your soulmate or significant other. So this is, you know, working things out and working together and teamwork, collaboration, compromise. Kind of energy learning you know new skills working together with people and learning new skills also so why is this energy here why is this energy here for leo let's get a couple more clarifiers oh, that's way too many a couple more clarifiers for leo so we have the eight of swords so your energy Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is a mental blockage trapped in your own thoughts and your own mind. You can easily get out of that anytime you wish to if you just, you know, set yourself free from that. It's just your mind keeping you bound to something. But then we have the world here. So this is, you know, a closing of a cycle and starting a new cycle. So this is Earth energy. So... So you may be closing out a cycle, starting a new cycle. Maybe returning back home. Maybe you're getting a job, moving back home and getting a job back home. Maybe you're a little caught up in your head, like how you're going to do this transition and start this whole new chapter in your life. But we have all these messages here of... Um, opening your heart to giving and receiving love and compassion and letting it uplift you. So I don't know, let's see. Let's get the actual situation. See what's going on here. See what's going on here. What is the actual situation? 
for Leo. What is going on with Leo? Let's get the actual situation for Leo. So we, well, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Cups. We have one more. And now we have the Princess of Wands. So Sagittarius energy here with the Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing, things going in a better direction, um, better luck, Fate, Fortune, things just getting better overall. And there goes the train. And then you have the Ace of Cups right in the middle of your spread. This is a brand new beginning. You know, this can be a new love connection, a brand new beginning in love. Love overflowing, uh, love, emotions. It can be divine energy. It can be a new spiritual path. It can be self-love. It could be, you know, just uh, having that overflowing of love and abundance with friends, family, kind of energy also. And then you have the Princess of Wands, which is the Page of Wands. So this is good news coming in. Um, something fiery, ambitious, creative, adventurous, endeavor. Um, some sort of good news about either a new endeavor, adventure, excitement, passion, or something like that passionate communication or good news coming in about a brand new beginning in love and something that's faded here so whatever's going on here is faded for you it's fate and destiny but you're trapped in your head about this brand new beginning this ace of cups i think you're trying to work it out in your head like you know where is this going to go what, you know you're thinking back i think you're thinking back on somebody here um the six of cups energy this could be somebody you knew like I said, from high school, from long time ago, somebody you worked with or something like that. So I think you're thinking back on this person, but definitely with the three of pentacles that's, you know, working together with people. But then for some reason you're trapped in your head and you're wondering, you know, is this new cycle going to start? But the divine wheel here, and that's the Sagittarius energy is here to say, yes, things will go in a better direction. Here's the brand new beginning of love right in the middle of your spread. And here's the good news coming in. So let's clarify this. Let's clarify this. A couple cards, what's your actual situation? Like, why is the Eight of Swords here? Why are you trapped in your head about this? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Leo? Why is that here for Leo? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. The Prince of Cups. Yeah, you you're worried about a love offer coming in. This is the Prince of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups. So this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Doesn't have to be. But this is um, someone, you're worried about someone taking action and coming in with their offer of love or, um, or something here. Because here is that cup with the new beginning in love. So I think you're trapped in your head about this actually coming to fruition. But divine energy here is going to bring it in because here is that Ace of Cups and here's the good news coming in. So who's delivering the good news? Who's delivering the good news? Who is this person sending you this message, this good news, this brand new beginning in love, this big old cup of love overflowing for a brand new beginning that fate and destiny is bringing in? Who is this person? So we got the Three of Cups. So this is reuniting. I mean, they could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or have it in their chart. So Three of Cups, this is coming together, reuniting, uh, celebrating, having a good time, meeting up for a drink, or something like that. So I think the good news is this person will say, hey, let's get together, let's go out, let's meet up, let's, you know, talk with the Princess of Wands is about communication. So I do see the action being taken coming in with that cup and here's a big old cup and then here's three more cups. So you got three, four, five cups there. So yeah, you're feeling the lovers just flipped over. So and that equals five and the five of cups is about sadness, hurt, 
kind of energy. So you're kind of sad and hurt and lonely right now, wondering, is this going to come in? You know, you're constantly thinking about them. You know, I, I think you maybe worked with this person or something like that or worked together with them in some way, shape or form. Uh, it doesn't have to be actual like work work. It could be working on a project, working in a church group on something, working in a, on a social, in a social group, doing in an activity, you know, something like that, like where you're like teamwork, work together or something like that. But here's the lovers. So here's making a choice to people coming together in soulmate union. So that's Gemini energy, but doesn't have to be. So, you know, you see these two people coming together very passionately. It's lovers. So this is your advice. So we got the lovers here. So I do see soulmate union here. That's too many. This and the Queen of Swords, so uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be male, female. And the Queen of Swords always reminded me of divine energy. I'm always, spirit tells me divine energy, like this is the divine bringing the soulmates together. Somehow, because you see, wow, you see the soulmates in the background there. Wow. And like the divine energy looking over this union. Wow. Wow. And you see the bird. Birds are messengers. And I place that right on the Princess of Wands, which is about a good news message coming in. Somehow divine is going to work this wheel. Divine energy here. Divine is going to make the soulmate union happen. I don't know how. That divine will make this person reach out and come forward with an offer of love, of getting together, or starting to move this forward. Because this is all about moving things forward. Divine energy here. Divine timing. So let's get some clarifiers on this. So your advice is, I mean, the Queen of Swords is about truth, clarity, communication, uh, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, cutting away things no longer serving you, all that kind of energy with the Queen of Swords. So let's get more, a couple more clarifiers for your advice. Yeah, okay. I was just going to say, wait, just wait for this offer to come in because it will. And now we have the Four of Swords energy here, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But this is about Four of Swords. It's always about, you know, just holding back your energy, you know, resting, rejuvenating, recuperating, retreating. Spending time alone, thinking, contemplating, and that kind of energy. It's a non-action card. It's just kind of a card of like being still. So yeah, your energy, your advice here is just to wait for the right time, the divine timing. And somehow t the divine's going to make this person offer, come forward with this offer to, you know, move this forward. Because divinely guide a couple love there is right in the middle of your spread. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you got two Aces. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So here is another new beginning. It's stable, sturdy, and grounded. It's growth. It's abundance. It's you know built on a firm foundation moving forward. Pentacles are always long-term. Um, doesn't have to be engagement or anything like that. It could just be leveling up and starting this journey of this new beginning of a very stable foundation built for the long-term. So you got long-term commitment there. Pentacles are always about long-term commitment of some kind. Wow. So, so let's see. I think you just need to um, like raise your vibration, like get out of any negative thoughts in your head because it says here to uplift your thoughts. So if you're having like negative th feelings, negative thoughts about this connection, like oh, it's never going to happen, the more you put that negative energy out into the universe, the more the universe knows that you're not ready uh, and they won't make it happen. But once you get into the energy of like, well, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And you kind of raise your vibration. You just do you. You go on in that loving, compassionate energy, giving and receiving that energy and opening your heart to those around you in the world, just letting be what will be. And then boom, <laughs> divine's going to make this happen. And then all of a sudden... This offer comes in. Four of swords there. Just do you. 
All right, I wouldn't take any action towards this person. All right, so let's get possible outcome. So if this isn't about a relationship, um, I mean, it could be about a new job, maybe you're waiting to hear on a new job, and maybe you just need to, um, again, you know, be in that positive mindset and just wait to hear, you know, because I do see this new beginning here. So it could be about a new job coming in. And I think it's something that you would like totally love to do with the lovers there, but I think you will get it. You just have to be patient and just wait. I mean, if you keep calling them, calling them, and calling them, I think that's not going to help. I just kind of lay back, you know. So it could be about that. It could be about a new job. It could be about a new person. I'm heavily getting, like, a new person. But it could be about a job, too. So however it resonates for you. So what's your possible outcome? So justice. So Libra energy. So justice can talk about things balancing out, truth and clarity, getting justice in a situation, getting justice, receiving justice. Um, it can talk of court matters too, legal matters, paperwork, things like that, but I'm not getting that energy. I just think justice will be served in the situation, whatever it is for you. The scales will be balanced. There'll be a fair and equal solution or whatever it is for you. And... Uh, Truth, clarity. So what do we have here now? Yeah, I don't feel comfortable taking that because I like to ask. So can we clarify? Can we clarify why is justice here for the outcome? What is this justice about for Leo for November for the outcome? Please, thank you so much. So we have the five of cups and the yeah, and I had said when I added up, didn't I not just say a few minutes ago when I added up the cups to five? that you are feel, feeling sad, lonely, hurt, because you don't feel this offer is coming in, that, you know, you just don't feel it, or you just, you're not sure. So you're kind of like sad and just thinking back, like, hmm, I don't know. But here's the Ten of Cups, so that is the justice in the situation. This is total happiness, joy, fulfillment, love, emotional fulfillment in every single way in love. So... You will have Ten of Cups with this person. It's right under the Ace of Pentacles. So it goes from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. So, <laughs> All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And you see, like, this person just waiting, kind of waiting. And it, that's under the Four of Swords, too. So I think you need to just heal from this energy also. And, you know, just stay positive and keep that positive mindset and just keep moving forward and I think justice will be served in this situation. Because you've got two aces, ten of cups, six cups, soulmate energies, definitely a soulmate um, here. And the lovers is definitely soulmate energy. So let's see what's on the bottom. The hangman, yeah, things are in limbo, just on pause, nothing's moving right now. Cancer Pisces energy. So, you know, you're kind of thinking about everything. But here's the healing, Aquarius energy. Healing, um, something divinely guided. And I had felt that, divinely guided soulmates, because the wheel is divine timing. And the star is divinely guided. Divinely guided soulmate energy here. Healing, faith, hope, optimism. Again, having that faith, hope, and optimism. Eight of Wands, there's the communication again. So... You got the Princess of Wands, you got the Eight of Wands. So that communication will come in fiery, fast communication, movement, travel, very passionate uh, energy exchange. Um, Cupid's arrows. And now we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is, you know, putting in the dedicate, dedicated effort, the hard work in this situation. So again, it could be, you know, someone you worked with with the Eight of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Here's the devil again. It wanted to show up, and I put it back. So, you know, this can talk of, you know, Capricorn energy here, toxic energy, or this just could be a very strong bond um, between the two of you. Not that it will be toxic. It's just sometimes can show a lot of, like, passion, lust, and that kind of energy also between the two of you. 
Yeah, waiting, waiting for this person to come in as the king. So do we have, well, we got the king of pentacles now and the queen of wands. So different suits, but still it's a king and a queen. So, you know, soulmate energy. Somebody who may be uh, good at finances or smart, savvy, analytical, um, savvy business sense, that type of energy. Very passion, passionate, lusty energy here. You know, waiting for this person. Could have worked with them or just, just working on the uh, relationship and the passionate communication coming in. Divinely guided soulmate energy here after a period of stagnancy and no movement. So I do see, you know, you just have to kind of bide your time here, stay positive, and just wait for this to happen because I think it will. It's all in divine timing. All right, so... So, I mean, if you're not dealing with the Taurus, with the Taurus there, which is the Hierophant, we didn't get the Hierophant that came out, but they can talk of marriage, they can talk of commitment, faith, spirituality, that kind of energy. All right, so let's get some of these. So, Leo, I'm going to get some of these, but if you do like my energy and how I read, you like my style, please do um, like, share, subscribe and uh, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four different readings a month. I do a love connection reading. I do this type of reading. I do messages from your spirit guides, and I do a singles reading for those who want to know who may be coming towards them, when, where, how, what kind of connection it will be. So if you're interested in all that, please do hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you, and subscribe also to help in the channel's growth. Okay, Leo, let's get some extra messages for you for your reading for November. Think things through. So, yeah, something, I don't know, something you need to think through here. Could be a separate message for you. Or maybe when this person comes in with an offer, whatever they offer you, you may have to think about it. Maybe just don't jump like right on it. Just kind of like don't seem so eager or that kind of energy. Just kind of, you know, take take your time. Take a few days. Don't respond right away or whatever. Just think, think of, you know, think about it for a while. What else do we have? Look forward. Yeah, keeping that positive mindset. Um, faith, hope, oz, optimism, looking forward. Looking forward to a bright future, no matter what happens, just keep looking forward. And did I not just say that? Thank you, Spirit. I just, I said that right at the beginning, is to raise your vibration. So thank you, Spirit. So some Leos really need to raise their vibration. Yep. And I had said that to keep that, that positive mindset and refine your attention. So don't focus all your attention on this situation. You need to concentrate on you. Refine your attention back to you. Do you. Keep moving forward in your life. Live your life. But, you know, you know, you can keep, uh, keep, you know, the communication open if there is any, but, you know, just refine your attention. Do you. Move forward with you. You know, be open to giving and receiving love, compassion with others around you. And it'll raise your vibration. Get it, Getting out of that negative mindset. Being more positive. Okay, uh, Leo, this was your tarot forecast for November. And uh, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.